This is number six. This is where we're looking at a list of numbers. We have fractions and decimals, a fraction and another decimal, and we have to figure out which one of is greatest in the list. So what number in the list above has the greatest value? So let's do a process of elimination. So this way we can just instantly get rid of some of these before we even think about them. So we're looking for the greatest. So we're looking for the biggest number. So we look right away and say, oh, 0 0.199. We know that this is less than this one. So this one automatically goes away. Now, if you remember earlier, we were talking about fractions, and if we have the same number on the top and bottom, it equals to one. So three over three equals one, right? 12 over 12 would equal one. So in this case, we could see that this number is also less than one because 10 is smaller than 12. So this one goes away too. So we've eliminated these two. So that means that we only have these two numbers that we really need to think about. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what this number is when it's not in a fraction. So I'm going to convert that into a decimal. So we have eight over three. So to convert that, we have to you know, set up the division. So we created the little house. And we have to figure what goes inside the house and what goes outside the house. So in this case, we have a numerator on the top and a denominator on the bottom. So you have to remember that when you're converting this into a decimal, the numerator goes inside the house and the denominator goes outside. Top goes in, bottom goes out. Okay, so I want to put a decimal there just so we can keep things nice and neat. Now, three goes into eight two times. Two times three is six. Now put a zero there. Eight minus six is two. 3 goes into 20 six times. 3 times 6 equals 18. And just so you know, 3 times 7 equals 21. Now, at this point, you should be able to do multiplication like this. Um, you should have memorized that. Worst case, you just set up a multiplication table down the side, you know, 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3. Um, but if you can memorize your multiplication tables, you're just going to save so much time, obviously. So 3 times 6 is 18. I have to remember to take this 6 and put it up there. 20 minus 18 is 2, and I say, oh, And I got the same number again, which means it's just going to repeat. So it's going to be 3.66 repeating. Anytime you come up with the same thing twice in a row, that means that it repeats itself. So I look at the 3.66, 3 and then I look at here, and I say, oh, 8.3 is the biggest number of the two. In the example, they're asking you which letter that is, and that's letter A, and that's your right answer.